Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are having a fantastic day. I'm really excited about today's topic because it has to do with what most of us do with cars and we buy them on loan, which means that we have to have our credit pulled. Well, there's some do's and don'ts with credit and I'm gonna talk about three specific items on how dealerships can scam you by pulling your credit and how they can use that against you to purchase a car that maybe be out of reach, out of budget, and maybe something that you just don't want. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can see how many people turn their bell notifications on. Leave a thumbs up if you liked the video and I'll do more videos like this to keep you protected from getting scammed when buying a car. Also, a cool way to support the channel, if you wanna buy some Chevy Dude merch, chevydudestore.com, link is in the description below. Got all sorts of cool things, and I have these brand new keychains. Check these keychains out, really, really awesome. They're embroidered, they got the American flag on the back, black and white. On the front, they have the Chevy Dude autograph logo. They're in the Chevy Dude store right now, very limited supply, uh, get yours before it's too late. And then also, I gotta do this, again uh put up a video an impromptu video sunday night and uh uh that was a backfire for you uh about 14 1500 people who saw it in 22 minutes apologize to you it was a lapse of judgment on my part but uh i always live and learn and whatnot but i also want to say thank you to everybody 151,000 plus subscribers but i now have something that no car salesman has ever earned the silver play button from youtube and i gotta tell you this is pretty sweet i opened this up sunday night um and i i, I had it all on cameras you see right here i have uh, open it up and i gotta say this is a pretty sweet feeling and i've been looking at this the last couple days and uh wow what an accomplishment the blood the sweat the tears the long nights that I put in on this channel um, this kind of shows it so now we've got to get another zero on here we've got to get this to 1 million I want that gold play button to hang up on my wall next to this one so there are two types of credit pulls that a dealership can do a hard pull which we pretty much know what a hard pull is that's gonna be when uh, a lending institution or somebody who checks your credit like a dealership uh, so they can effectively submit it to a lender for approval for the best terms and conditions on your behalf the other term is a soft pull which we only really need a name and an address we don't need social security number we don't need birth dates and they can pull it that way most dealers don't use soft pulls they use hard pulls. So don't let a dealership tell you, oh, hey, we're just doing a soft pull. And one way to find out if they really are is if they don't ask you for your social and birthday. And a lot of times we don't even need permission to do so. Now we at the dealership at Bachman Chevrolet, we don't use soft pulls and we always get written permission to pull credit. So with that being said, I'm a firm believer, 19 years, maybe a biased opinion, maybe I'll take a little bit of heat on this comment, but I'm a firm believer of allowing the dealership to do the financing. There's more times than anybody can count that a, someone comes in, they've done all the work, and they've wasted a lot of time to get some type of pre-approval or financing terms, and a curveball is thrown to them. Because a lot of times pre-approvals are just saying, hey, listen, you can buy if everything is correct. Most people don't understand loan to value, payment to income, debt to income ratio, all that stuff. So when they come in and they're like, hey, I'm looking for a $4,000 car, but the bank is only loaning 80 percent and you have no money down now you've done all that work and you can't buy the car because you don't have 20 percent down to do the car loan where a lot of times with our dealerships or with our banks at the dealership uh, we can get it done with no money down so also um, a lot of times you don't have an approval on a specific vehicle you just have a broad approval saying hey yes we'll approve you and then they give you all sorts of uh, boxes and terms if you're looking at a new car used car a certain year car over or under a certain mileage stuff like that it gets really confusing so uh, but also most importantly many times I see and it just happened today it happened on Saturday it happened on Thursday so it's happened the last few days very very quickly that 
uh, someone has came in, they've done their work, they've had their credit hard pulled uh, by a lending institution, and we're able to get them a better rate. So uh, a lot of times dealerships will be able to save you money. So I know a lot of the comments in the past videos and stuff like that is never let a dealership pull your credit because they're scamming and stuff like that. That's not really true from my perspective. And again, I understand it's a biased opinion, but I told you exactly what I see and hear and know, and I gotta tell you, I save more people money. Worst case scenario, if I pull credit and you have a 399 rate and I can't beat it or get something acceptable to your terms, then perfect. You do the 399, but at least you look to save money. Also, never, ever, ever let a dealership pull your credit with the intentions of just getting you numbers. No dealership out there needs to pull your credit to get you the purchase price of your car. I just had somebody contact me last week and said, hey, listen, uh, I haven't ran into this before. What is it? And they're saying that uh, they wanted to pull credit before they did anything. The customer stated he was an 800 credit score. So why do they need to pull credit? They're using that as leverage to get you to purchase the car. So that way, so this is the number three thing. So the, that way, if you sit there and have credit pulled in your mind, psychologically, you've got a hard credit pull on your credit report and you feel that that has punished you in some way, shape or form. So they will use that in the event that they can pressure you a little bit. That way you don't get your credit pulled more and more and more. Now I'll tell you this, this is a big misnomer with credit reporting and credit pulling. You do not take a hit on your credit report if you are shopping for a car. Here's the way, here's what happens. It's a big misnomer. This was changed way back in 2005, okay? So this is a long, long time ago that this has changed, but it's still believed, and it's a misnomer today, that if you pull your credit, it hinders you or it hurts you uh, on your credit report. It's false. So what happens with Fair Isaac's reporting agency is if you pull credit two, three, four, five times, 10 times in a 30-day window on the same type of credit pull, car dealerships, car loans, stuff like that, it all counts as one pull. Now, obviously you don't wanna go out there and have your credit pulled 60 times, right? We don't wanna do that. That's bad too with all the inquiries. But having your credit pulled two, three, four, five times to shop for financing isn't a bad thing. But no, number three thing is don't let the dealership pull your credit just to run you numbers. It's a bad thing and they're using it to, against you to push you into buying a car that maybe you do want, don't want, or they can, you can get better terms somewhere else. I think the number two reason why you don't let a dealership pull your credit is because it leaves breadcrumbs. It allows the dealerships to see what the other ones are doing and they can see who you've been shopping and again, push and pressure you just a little bit more into making a purchase. Maybe it's a car you don't want, maybe they can start devaluing the car that you saw over at dealership ABC. They can start working numbers to their benefit and go against you. So uh, when you pull credit multiple times, it leaves breadcrumbs on your credit bureau as the inquiries. I can see those and I know exactly what's going on. Also, um, it could be a benefit to you as well, just to kind of tell you this, if you have uh, subprime credit, that uh, if we know that dealership ABC uh, got you approved on a car and uh, we can see which banks that they submitted it to, we can actually submit that to the same bank and get what's called a light call. So it's a kind of a 50-50, but mainly it's because it leaves a breadcrumb uh, tracking you to see where you've been shopping. And it uh, also allows all those inquiries to build up and hurt you that way too. And the number one reason, nobody's ever gonna explain this to you, nobody's ever gonna tell you about this, and I don't think anybody's ever thought of it, because this happened um, back at a previous dealership that I worked at, we would look at your credit, not we, they, would look at your credit and see that you maybe have $5,000 available to you on a credit card. So therefore, if you've got $5,000 available to you on your credit card, the dealership may pencil you out. They call it pencil when showing numbers. They'll pencil you out with a high dollar amount, say $10,000 down, because they know you've got five, and all of a sudden it'll, they'll suggest or pressure you into putting money down on a credit card to get you to a favorable payment. They paint this picture because remember, car buying is an emotional experience you go into a car buying experience knowing what's going on more than ever today but it's still emotional when you get there so therefore if they can keep your emotions really really high and get you to put some money on a credit card which is usually a very high interest rate and they get a car deal that's all they care about so don't let them pull your credit too early 
So that way they can't see the revolving credit available to you and use that against you for money down. Now, the title of the video suggests not to let a dealership pull your credit, but the title of the video is don't let the dealership pull your credit too early. So I think it's a good thing to let a dealership help you find financing. If you've got your local bank that you work with and your local credit union, perfect, do that. However, let's say you bank with Chase, like I bank with Chase, and the dealership banks with Chase, you've gotta be leery, you gotta be careful that if you go to Chase first, and we try to go to Chase, they will go off of your approval where we can get you better rates through Chase than you can. So imagine this, you or I walk in and we want a 20, 30, 40, 50, $60,000 auto loan. This dealership, we send millions of dollars a month to Chase and other banks. So we get a little bit better rates based off of the volume that we send and we can get favors from the banks and stuff like that. So don't always sit there and go out of your way to shop and let the dealership do it, but also be on your A game to make sure that you get the best rates and not scammed over by the car dealership. So I hope that's helpful to you. I hope that gives you some good tips the next time you are wanting to buy a car. Down in the link below is a Facebook group that I am creating because I have a lot of people reaching out to me and asking me, hey, can you help me on this deal? Can you help me on that deal? Where I can't help on every deal that walks across unless you're buying from me. Uh, I wanna be able to help in some way, shape, or form. So down in below is how to buy a car Facebook group. And if you click that link, you get in. And if you got questions, you can ask a community. I'm in there, I'm the only model moderator and the only admin I can answer them for you and give suggestions and maybe we can all help each other out for a good thing so we don't want to go in there and trash anybody we don't want to be derogatory and we certainly don't want to share too much private or personal information credit scores stuff like that but certainly we can use some good things and you can inbox me and say hey what about this and i can maybe put some things in that group as well so as always thank you again so much for watching i hope you have a fantastic day i hope this was really helpful to you the next time you buy a car as always don't forget to subscribe turn your bell notifications on leave a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next video thanks again have a great day drive safely